Hey everyone, my name is Adam, and welcome to Chasing Aliens. Uh, this is a new series that's being put on by Mage's Garage, where they take different drivers and put them up against the best lap ghosts created by a crew chief for a given car. Uh, today we're going to be uh, taking the W12, Mercedes W12 Formula 1 car around Hockenheim, um, and try to beat Soilio Almedia's uh, ghost lap. I think his best lap time is a 112.060. So we'll see if we can get close or, or beat that lap. Um, same track conditions, same setup. Uh, pretty much everything should be identical. So uh, we hopefully will be pretty close. Uh, and then just for a little bit of background on me, I've been on iRacing for about 12 years now. Uh, originally it was more of an oval racer and did that most of the time. Um, and then about two years ago, I switched over to road racing and was racing the McLaren Formula One car in the Irison Grand Prix series. And then obviously now we're in the uh, Mercedes W12, and hopefully soon we'll be in uh, the Mercedes W13. So uh, we'll see how things go with that. Uh, so yeah, buckle up, and uh, we'll get out there and see what we can do. All right, so coming through this uh, last section here, uh, the stadium section, and onto the main straight, uh, you'll see Suelio's ghost pop up uh, about a half second up the road. Clean and green all the way up to here. Um, so one thing I noticed is that, you know, and I'll mention this later, is that we get, we seem to be pretty close on braking and, and then I had some good traction out of the corner here that kept me in the green. Uh, and then you got this long, not straight, straight away. Uh, down to the, the real tight hairpin down here. Again, you'll see me uh, you'll get real close even in the center of the corner and then get off. It seems like he gets off the corner a little bit better than I do. Um, and then again, as we come into this section here, you know, a lot of speed under braking. Sometimes I kind of forget the ghost is just a ghost. <laughs> um, but yeah, continue on, still clean and green, uh, gaining some time on him. I lift a bit for this section here, and it seemed to gain quite a bit more time, and then I lose it coming through this hairpin. And then it's pretty evident here that this is the section of the track that I need the most help on. Um, he gets away from me quite a bit better through here. So, there you go. Okay, so uh, we're going to go through the lap. Here real quick, um, I'm going to point out in greater detail uh, some things that uh, caught my attention that were a bit different. Um, for the most part, we actually stayed pretty close throughout the lap. Um, so, but there were areas where I noticed uh, I could probably do to improve a bit. Um, so, we'll cover those here in just a second. So, uh, coming through this last section here, um, the stadium section. This is really my weakest point on the track that I could tell. Uh, you can use all of that exit there. Uh, this corner here, um, I'm going to stop this real quick and tell you that in race trim, you could you can take it wide open. That's what I did here. Um, in qualifying, you can definitely take it wide open. However, because this is a DRS straight, uh, you definitely want to make sure that whether in the race or in qualifying, if you have your DRS open heading into this corner, that you shut it manually before you get there. Because if you try to take this wide open and you didn't lift ahead of time, that flap stays open and you are going to spin off into that green barrier right over there. So um, this is also, this this curb here, I'll, you can take quite a bit of it and not catch the off track, but I think once you get over a little too far this way, right about here, um, that's where the off track gets triggered. So just be mindful of that. Um, so yeah, we stayed pretty close all the way through this section here. Um, one thing that I've noticed is that I seem to I seem to go in to the corners a lot, quite a bit faster, um, and get to the center a little bit faster, and then, but he gets off the corners better. Um, I don't know if it's just that I'm carrying too much speed, or if he's, um, you know, if if maybe I need to be a little bit more aggressive with the throttle to, you know, keep that. Uh, down a little bit, you know, maybe put a little bit more into it, uh, and I'm just being too conservative to avoid wheel spin, but, uh, but yeah, so, uh, one thing I did notice, though, is that he tracks out more, um, my natural inclination is to keep it tight and stay in the black here, 
But once he apexes, I noticed he goes out really, really, he goes quite a bit wider out this way. Um, so that was a, a difference that I noticed. So I kind of went to follow that same path and noticed that the tracker got more green as, as we did that. Um, so yeah, coming through this section here, um, I stay in seventh because I feel like the engine just doesn't pump enough power in eighth gear to keep the car going. So um, I pretty much would want to just use eighth if you're in if you're using DRS or in the slipstream. Again, another hard braking zone where it seems to me like um, I can I get into the center, go a little bit faster, and I think in this instance I I understeered a little bit. Um, you know, whereas. Uh, he seemed again to get off just a little bit better off this corner. Um, again, I probably could be more aggressive with my throttle application. Um, that would probably get me, get me the launch that I feel like I would need here. But again, we stayed fairly close all the way through this section. Um, it wasn't really until um, right about this turn here. Caught this just right. Um, but I think either I understeered or something happened where I just didn't feel the confidence in the car to like really gun it. And so he seemed to kind of gain a little bit in this area here. Um, this is one where the car gets really sketchy in feeling. Um, and so you gotta just kind of learn to trust the downforce and trust that that giant rear wing is gonna keep the rear end planted. Um, so yeah, come all through here. This section here, um, you'll also notice that I was lifting a bit. I don't know if he does. Um, I can tell you that for qualifying, um, you can probably get through here wide open, and there's no DRS to worry about, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, but for, for race trim, I would personally probably recommend keep you know, lifting a bit just because of the dirty air and because uh, you'll chew through your tires pretty quick I think you'd, at this corner would generate a lot of heat um, in the tires so um, you can take almost you can go pretty much to the dirt here uh, I wouldn't recommend it uh, because you will also lose all your grip and your speed and maybe even crash um, but this allows you this is one of the few corners on the track that are on any track really where the 1x is actually in a dangerous position where if you come out here you're going to get a 1x and you pretty much deserve it because now you're in the gravel and it's it's a dangerous situation for everybody so uh, but this car seems to ride the curbs a lot better than the mclaren did uh, back in the day and then getting into this corner this is another one that i kind of felt was a little bit weak for me i think maybe while i tend to charge the entry and center of corners a little more in most hard braking zones this is one that i noticed that immediately it's detrimental um, and can cause a lot of understeer um, you may be able to use a little bit of the curb here to kind of get that rotation um, just probably don't want to use too much of it or put one of the four tires on it because if you got three that are on the pavement it's probably going to want to snap on you so um, you can take a little bit more of this turf on the exit without the 1x uh, the only reason i don't is because it felt slower to me when i tried it in practice earlier um, you know it lets you kind of open the wheel up more and kind of gives you more space to play with but i think the extra distance seemed to i didn't notice that it really helped my lap times any um, this is the section that I felt that I noticed is absolutely 100% my weakest. I'm not entirely sure exactly why, but it seemed like from about this point forward, he gets away. Now here, I lift and brake a bit because the car just understeers so bad, you know, and it might be that you know, maybe I'm turning in too early, um, but I just, I can't get, carry the speed through here because the, the, the nose just keeps sliding off to the, to the left, so... Um, I would lose, I'd be 0, 0, minus 0 0.01, 0 0.02, the whole way around the track. But as soon as we get here, then all of a sudden it goes plus 0 0.04, plus 0 0.05. So I got some work to do in this section uh, before race week starts in order to maximize my speed here. But uh, yeah, you know, and then you can use this, this exit curb pretty much, you know, all the way out as well. Um, but yeah, so that's that, that's pretty much the lap here. Um, like I said, we were, we were pretty close. So, um, and there you have it. Uh, first uh, official installment of Chasing Aliens. Um, you know, got pretty close to Soilio's time there. You just need to uh, 
to sort out a few little issues, especially in the in the final sector. Um, try to figure out where how I'm losing so much time. You know, maybe if I need to go deeper into the corners or lift earlier and take wider lines. So um, definitely a bit of an educational experience, and uh, you know, but good to know that uh, we're not too far off uh, the crew chief's lap time. You know, from the outset there. So. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope this uh, helps some of y'all out if you're having some issues here getting around the track. And uh, be sure to, uh, if you enjoyed this content, you know that you like the video, uh, subscribe to Major's Garage. Also, um, you can find this video on my personal YouTube, uh, AM Racer 89 uh, And again, if you like the content, you know, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel as well. So that'll do it for, the, for Hockenheim, and we'll catch you next week.